Is I wanted to look at you and I wanted you to look into my eyes when I'm talking to you so that you can see that I've got nothing to hide. This guy, he's playing games. We, yo, what can I say? From the beginning of last year, we've been talking and talking and talking. We felt so in love. Like that was one person that I wanted to be with every single day of my life. I wanted to spend my life after school with him. We had so many plans, so many things that we had planned for 2023. When we broke up in the middle of last year, it was done. We came to an agreement that we're breaking up. He blocked me. I've said this so many times. People just, just before we broke up, that's when he sent me this airtime, the thousand rand. And yo, I don't want to be mean and say, oh, I never asked for airtime. Ban, 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 ban. I enjoyed the airtime. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I did. I did phone my girlfriend. I did send her some airtime also. But I didn't ask. He sent it with a good heart. I received it with a good heart. And then, boom. I go on to TikTok. There's this guy that y'all might know. He never money. I was so angry. I'm thinking to myself, how do I retaliate? Do I put on the camera and speak everything of the truth as I'm speaking to you now? Or do I turn this into a joke so that people don't take me seriously? Don't take the situation seriously. It looks like it is blown out of proportion and it's turned into something that it's not. Because people are looking at me as a bad guy. All my videos, thousand rand, thousand rand, thousand rand. I've got no time for that. I'm focusing on, 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 on university and important things. I send his money back. Yo. During our relationship, the first three months of our relationship, there wasn't... I was working at Grumpy's. There wasn't a two weeks that went past that he didn't get money from me. So this thousand rand, it's like change to compare to the amounts I've sent to him. And if he wants his money back, I'm going to send his money back. Yo. Yo guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Yolo Kazi Kagi, but you guys can most definitely call me Yolo. So that was the um Levy from TikTok, a foster kid before to basically sharing his side of this entire TikTok drama. And unfortunately, this drama is still continuing there by TikTok. And just when I was trying to screen record Levy's live, um, he then sent me a young DM saying that um he'd like to share his side of the story basically was dismissing what orafile has been telling um his followers so if you've been following this entire story you will know that ore is acting like he's the victim in this entire situation who was basically forced into this entire situation ship can't you know as you heard for yourselves they were actually in a full blown type of relationship nobody forced anyone or go to enter anything like or um or affiliate did share with us a good table on gense or go to me now give more illoli pop yak and then i sent him a thousand rands about for it so um this is our whatsapp recording now of course you guys um levy is just one spicy guy he also revealed that indeed um a lot of people have been wanting to know Uguti how true is this entire ice cream saga and he has revealed that it's indeed true however he has never forced him to do it and this guy when he was busy sucking the ice cream he was even using his teeth so you can just imagine that you guys what are your thoughts please uh, do share that with me down on the comment section like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so and i will try to upload levy's live you guys it's literally going to be copywritten because there's some background music so i didn't want to mix the two because it job or you job before it too thank you guys so much for joining me i will see you shortly bye